Hi, uh, my name is Florence Yi. Uh, otherwise, my Cantonese name is Yu Sing Kai. I'm a visual artist uh, with no specific medium right now, um, but mostly text-based art is my main focus. I'm doing my MFA here at OCAD University. Language is really important to me. Um, I do most of my work in English, but uh, like a lot of parts of my lives were like segregated based on language. Everything I make is hand embroidered. We usually see text as something digital, but when it's kind of embroidered, you have this more like, personal, intimate relationship, especially when you know that it's hand embroidered. I mostly still use fonts, and specifically the bold Times New Roman, um, to kind of reference like digital mediums, um, mostly in the fact that I talk a lot about like writing, word processing, and uh, learning a lot of things online. Like how I said, I learned painting online, I learned how to embroider online, I learned much of like my history online. But there's this very romantic image of learning your history through your elders, but I think for many different reasons it's not what actually happens. Uh, and it's important. It's important to address that. That's the only piece I've, not the only piece, one of the only pieces that I've ever made outside of academia, specifically in the selected hauntings pieces. Um, it was at the uh, John and Maggie Mitchell Art Gallery of the, oh Lord, McEwen University. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> in Edmonton, um, Alberta. And that was the first time that I made a completely text based installation. It is like, the piece that resonates most with me. I used some like rope, not even rope, just thread to hang them. And so they were kind of spinning around too, really slowly, because they weren't like attached very solidly. And so it was this kind of labyrinth that you could walk through, but would also spin around you. Um, and I was thinking mostly just about like how, because they're a scroll, they kind of function as walls as well. Um, and because they're made in organza, they're transparent, so I wanted to have kind of this like confusing um, visual aspect to it, uh, both in being like suddenly confronted with an idea and maybe thinking about uh, like how you mentally and like literally navigate everything. My dad always tells me that he works hard so I don't have to. And I think him saying that has always like internalized in me, like the kind of work ethic that is like, you work or you die. How to like visually depict internalization was kind of something I was interested in. And I usually just write down um, things that I find are funny or th thoughts that are ironic or um, kind of pertain to me in ways I didn't think it would. And they, are housed in my sketchbook um, and them being next to each other kind of changes the way I think about them too. Uh, it's basically a process of collecting a lot of things around me. Sometimes talking with other people, um, I'm really inspired by just like conversations with my friends, with my grandmother. I think 80% of any work is just like mulling over it for a long long time um, and it's kind of a horrible period because you're very like unsure of what you're doing you're going back and forth on ideas and then you're but I mean it's probably the most fruitful part 